Okay, so we've got to change one thing, right? Don't be disheartened by it. What do we need to change? What can we change? Um, what went wrong? It went a bit low. I think um, the, the rocket is a bit bent. It's okay. sort of going up a little bit, and I think we faced the rocket down, so it bent down. It just okay, so down maybe here. face it up, and then maybe what elevation did um, you use? We used 50, maybe 60. 60, all right. Give it a go. Change that one thing. Make sure you're pointing the rocket up, and we'll see how we go, all right? So go and line up and let's let's have another crack at it. Okay. Alright. So basically we've just used a lemonade bottle and we've cut the top off a lemonade bottle for the head and we filled it with blue tack and garbage bags. And then this is just around the edge, it starts about there. It's just like plastic, thin plastic. And then with the um, fins, they're also like thin plastic from a folder, but we've cut them. So on the inside, they've got flaps Folded to hold it ways. down. And then we put glitter in it. That's the <laughs> secret <laughs> to make it go hard. <laughs> and also on the outside, we've used oil, oil. So if it landed on the right angle, it would slide. Awesome. 120 <laughs> meters plus, pretty good. <laughs> How does that compare with the others? Um, well, well, we killed it. Yeah, we killed it. <laughs> we haven't seen anyone go higher than about 85, so we flogged. <laughs> well, we built this rocket for the um, Aeronautical Velocity Challenge, the regional finals, and um, we've just launched it and it went 95 metres. I think the uh, wings are really good. I think the fins. Because they're really, um, the fins, fins. And, the, and the blue tack. Yeah, especially the blue tack at the front. But I think it was really cool how um, the symbols, the we put symbols. the eagle design on it. Well, this rocket, it's just a single bottle, uh, apart from the nose in the front. Yeah. And the a special thing that makes this bottle unique is, as you can see, the wings on it, they're curved. Now, the idea with this is that as you fire the rocket, it propels itself in the air by continually spinning. Now, to help this, we've also added some dirt to the front of the rock rocket and the wings have been cable tied so it adds more support and tape. Yeah, so we had it at a higher angle and then it goes higher and then just goes nose dives. Mm -hmm. So a higher arch basically. It came out with a good result, 92 meters. We're happy with it. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Good. Um, we just, just as a fun school project, just trying to make a rocket out of 3D printing and turned out like this. <laughs> like this? <laughs> oh, we had quite a lot of prototypes though with different parts. Like we had a weight in there at one point, and we tried. Well, we tried a lot of stuff. Like we had more, like bigger fins, fins made out of different um, materials. Material, and then we had like those big ones and these 3D printed ones, like there. So yeah. Oh, it hit the roof over there. How far is the roof? About 100 meters, but it would have went further if the roof wasn't there. If the roof so wasn't there and it kept going down, it would have went down, about 130, 120, 140, 130. Uh, I think just the competition between schools and like the whole vibe, everyone's pretty positive too. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the workshop and just fixing it up. And fixing it. Trying to beat what you last did, yeah. basically. Yeah, seeing everyone the whole else's event. ideas was pretty interesting. Hitting the roof. Hitting the roof. Getting first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, getting that far, <laughs> I guess.